Okay, no one in this show is safe. No one. In the prologue before the intro, a mysterious figure is shown luring zombies using dead deer meat and breaking the lock off the prison gate. Shenanigans are clearly afoot. While that's going on, the group encounters Axel and Oscar, who want to join the group instead of living by themselves in a cell block full of their dead friends. Despite an inspiring speech by Oscar and T-Dog's approval, Rick decides to keep the prisoners in their cell block away from the rest of the group. Meanwhile, in Woodbury, Michonne inspects the National Guard vehicles the governor took off the soldiers, and notices the various bullet holes and bloodstains, realizing that, thankfully, zombies can't use assault rifles. In a tense standoff, the governor dodges her suspicions and tries to convince her to stay in Woodbury. Back in the prison, while Axel tries to suck up to the group in order to get them to trust him, Herschel takes up some crutches and manages to hobble outside of his prison cell. You go, Herschel! Back in Woodbury, Michonne makes plans with Andrea to leave and find a boat, which is oddly the plan for almost every single zombie movie ever. Back to the prison, everyone's outside enjoying a sunny day until they see zombies have infiltrated to the courtyard. Everyone takes out their guns and starts fighting, only to split up and run away. During the chaos, T-Dog unfortunately gets bitten. Back in Woodbury, jeez, this episode's all over the place, Andrea tells Merle the location of the farm they are living in back in Season 2. During this time, they have a pretty creepy conversation where Merle wonders why they never hooked up, and Andrea says it was because he was a bit of a sexist, to put it politely. Back in the prison, Rick accuses Axel and Oscar of laying the zombies in until the prison alarm sounds, attracting every zombie in a 10 mile radius to the complex. Oscar explains the alarms must be using the backup generators, so the four of them rush to turn them off. Split off from everyone else, Maggie, Lori, and Carl attempt to navigate their way through the zombie-filled hallways, until, in one of the worst cases of bad timing in television history, Lori realizes she's about to give birth. Back at Woodbury, Merle asks the governor for permission to find his brother, but the governor rejects him, stating he can only go if he finds more concrete information. FORESHADOWING! Back at the prison, Maggie tries to help Lori deliver the baby, until Lori begins to hemorrhage. While Carl looks on in awkward disbelief, T-Dog attempts to lead Carol back to the cell block and heroically sacrifices himself to save her from zombies. Back at Woodbury, the governor and Andrea share a drink, and the governor reveals his true name, Philip. This scene is obviously the most important thing that could be happening in the episode at the moment. Back at the prison, Rick finds Andrew surprisingly not dead and finds out he's the one behind opening the gate and turning on the alarms. During a fight, Rick's gun ends up in Oscar's hands and Oscar points the gun at Rick, ironically the opposite of the usual situation. Surprisingly, Oscar shoots Andrew instead and hands Rick back his gun right before they turn off the generators. However, while she's giving birth, Lori realizes she's going to die and asks Maggie to perform a C-section. In most likely the most emotional scene in the entire series, Maggie performs the surgery and a dying Lori says a tearful goodbye to Carl. Once the baby is safe, Carl realizes his mom will turn into a zombie soon, and shoots her off screen. Dang, man. Everyone meets up outside the prison except for Carol, who's mysteriously disappeared. When Rick sees Maggie and Carl emerge without Lori, the episode ends with him collapsing in grief while everyone else stares in open shock. Like I said before, no one is safe in this show. Speculation for next episode? Rick is going to go nuts on some zombies.